Well, here it is the day before we go to the Supreme Court to hear Ted Olson and the Solicitor General argue our case in front of the Supreme Court. So today, in order to get ready, we're going to the National Archives to see the U.S. Constitution, which is a huge highlight for both yeah. Sandy and I and our kids. We're definitely excited to be here. We're proud to be here. We're certainly nervous, um, cautiously optimistic, but most importantly, we're hopeful. Right now, we're just preparing for the argument, and it's to go through and make sure that we have every possible question, uh, every possible argument the other side can come up with, and we've done as much as we can to prepare to respond to those. When we set out four years ago, we said we were going to make this case before the Supreme Court, before the highest court in the land, and I think we're all going to be just in awe to watch Ted Olson up there making our case. It's a dialogue among the justices. They use their questions to explore issues, so you can't read too much into anything. Oh, we think history will look back and feel proud that our country came together to support equality for all people, and we're just so grateful that we get to be a part of this very important civil rights issue. We're Chris and Sandy's sons, so. I mean, we just tag along for the ride and try to make them look good. I think Ellie and I are both immensely proud of our moms and what they're doing. Tomorrow morning we'll get up, uh, get up very early and we will make our way to the Supreme Court. Sounds strange even saying it out loud. We have great clients. They, they are in love, they want to get married. But this is the defining civil rights issue of our generation. It is a time that I think that we advance the agenda of equality, not just for gays and lesbians, but for everybody. It's freezing, but of course I'm so excited to be here. We've been on the case for a very, very long time, and it's been a great journey, and we've accomplished a lot so far. Still trying to wrap my head around the fact that this is actually real and happening and that we're here, but it's an incredibly exciting and historic morning. This is exactly what our judicial system is for, and this is where we should be on this day. A lot of people that made this possible by their generous support, and we want to thank them for it, and uh, thank the millions of people around the country that have uh, worked so hard to make this possible. To me, this, all of this work, everything that we're doing uh, is about the next generation, so that the young people out there uh, who are just coming of age, falling in love for the first time, they do so without judgment. I, I know what I'm going to be seeing from our side. We, Ted Olson is going to be brilliant, as he always is, and he will make the points that we feel necessary. It's incredible, you know, it's a historic day uh, for, the, for, for the LGBT rights movement. I'm already, already anxiously waiting for June. I'm already yeah. nervous. I'm like, okay, do they have it yet? Did they decide it? And it's only been 10 minutes. It's, it's a little bit of a relief, but at the same time, now we wait. Uh, and we know we have to wait for three months before we find out uh, what, what they've decided. The most important battle, I think, clearly has been won. But one thing I thought about when there was, again, uh, sitting in the back of Harvey's old camera store on Castro Street, and Harvey saying, you've got to come out, and it's, it's pretty extraordinary. We're not done in this, in this movement for LGBT equality. So next is get back to work and, and keep fighting to make sure the next generation's uh, lives are, 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 are better than ours. And I think that's our job as Americans.